things that could have uh, been done differently to change results? No, it's still pretty confusing and shocking. I think everyone is, it's going to take a while to get over that one. Um, but no, I don't know. That's sports, and that's the way it goes sometimes. Um, that's life. But um, there's a lot to be proud of this year, but you know, ultimately um, didn't get the job done. What kind of emotions, thoughts go through your head the last couple of days since it's been over? Um, I think just shock, you know, it's still hard to really grasp what happened and how quickly it happened. You know, it's, it's only over the span of five or six days that you go from being up 3-1 in a series to being done. And um, it can take a while to process that. So, um, like I said, that one's going to sting and that one's going to, it's going to hurt for a while. Um, it was a you know, obviously a great regular season and a, I guess you would call a failure in the playoffs. So there's some really good things this year and then there's some, obviously, uh, just the ending wasn't what we wanted. Taylor, obviously the future for Don Krejci is undecided, but just as someone who experienced their leadership, if they don't come back, are there specific things like a phone call or sitting next to someone if they're having a bad game or whatever that I'm making that up, but that you would have taken from them that you want to kind of make sure stays in this room? Yeah, you know, there's, um, I just, what I would say I learned from, from those guys is that everyone can lead in their own way and every, you know, there's not one set leadership style that you have, you know, you don't have to be a rah-rah guy, you don't have to be the super, you know, positive, bubbly guy, you know, you can um, lead in your own way and I think that's what I would take from, from those guys. They, um, they're professionals, they're great people. And uh, I, th I guess the biggest thing is they care about everyone in the room. So that was uh, an incredible environment for me to come into when I got traded here. And uh, if they're not back with us, then it's up to us to keep fostering that environment and, and carry that tradition. Individually, uh, some things for you to build on, just the way you played in the playoffs and how you felt? Yeah, and no, I was, I mean, I felt, felt good. Um, you know, I, I don't know. It's, it, it's not when you when you lose the series. Ultimately, you, you kind of feel like you you had more to give, right? You know, I I didn't have any production in the last two games, and it, maybe you know if if I did, then there were you know we're not doing exit meetings this, today. So um, there's always things to build off of, and always things to look back on and get better at. But um, I felt more like myself in the playoffs and, than I did for the, the regular season games I played. Did you already meet with Swedes? No. no. How, do you, how do you just kind of assess your season as a whole, kind of a different role there on the, the third line, and how do you just kind of look back at kind of individually this season? Yeah, and it wasn't, you know, a tremendous season personally, um, but, you know, 65 wins and being on a, you know, contributor to a team like that is, is special and um, something I'll never forget. Um, I want to have a better season next year than I did this year. Um, so there's some things for me to get better at and, and um, come back a better player. I know every you know it's hard when you're 31, but I really do think that I still have more to learn and, and more things to get better at. Physically, how are you feeling? Good. Yeah, good. No problems. No. Taylor, from a headspace standpoint, better to stay in town now or you can leave and get some some distance, what do you do? Um, I'm not going anywhere um, for the next little bit, so um, I don't know. I mean, I've walked around for the last couple days, and I've got nothing but positive remarks from people in this city. The sports fans in this city are, are amazing, and I know everyone's, you know, sad and a bit shocked, just like we all are, but ultimately... You know, that's just the way sports is, and that's the way life is sometimes. It's not always fair. And um, I, I'm i still proud to be a, a Bruin. On the street, anybody say anything that stuck with you? It's just, I don't know. They, they you know, they say heck of a season, you know, great series. You know, it's the way things go. I mean, like I said, I haven't heard anyone say anything bad. So it's just, I'm sure there's those people out there, but... Um, 
Yeah, that's all I got. What will you watch now? Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to watch. That's that's going to be really hard, especially to watch the, you know, Florida tonight. Um, eventually I'll tune in. Um, I'm sure because I do enjoy watching hockey and, and especially watching playoff hockey. But like I said, it's still a bit of shock to, to kind of understand and get used to. And is that why it's hard to watch for sort of the mental fatigue from it? Yeah, and just I think you want to get away from the game mentally. That's the way I feel anyways. Yeah, I was thinking about going to the game actually. I like. I'm, I'm actually a Jays fan, but um, yeah, I don't know. I want to try to enjoy Boston Spring as much as I can, and it's a great area. I've loved the area, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I guess. For you personally, what's your goals for this offseason? What do you want to build upon? Um, yeah, I'm gonna make some changes to my my offseason program. I want to try and come in next season a little bit lighter. Like I, I'm around 209 and I would love to come and play next year around 203 204 get a bit lighter and I, you know everyone says this as they get older but try and get quicker and um, and yeah I mean um, I want to see if I can improve somehow on the power play I don't think my power play uh, was play was very you know all that great this season so try and figure out a way to get better at that yeah, there's people I lean on, and and you know we'll we'll go over st you know film of this season, this year, and you know find some areas where I struggle and try and get better at that. I enjoy that part of the the game and training, and like I enjoy finding ways to get better and little areas to improve as you get older. So, all right.